Hey guys, welcome to another video. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you a homemade pool vacuum, okay, that you can make, which I made. If you have, you can use some of these little 10 foot round pools. I did a video earlier cleaning one of these pools. How you walking around the pool, let all the rubbish gather to the middle, scoop it up with a net. I'll show you if you got a pump, a sand pump like this, you can make your own pool vacuum just with scrap stuff you got laying around your house. Okay guys, here we are in the shed. Come over in the shed, I'll show you what I did to make my own pool vacuum. You can buy these, all but good. I think they're around 60 bucks if you wanna buy one, but if you got the stuff laying around your house, you can simply make one. This is an old vacuum head of an old vacuum cleaner we had, an old Dyson, an old Dyson vacuum head, okay. I've just got an aluminium pole, okay. So as you see, I've got an aluminium pole. Rightio. You can use a, a roller pole, you know, that you screw into your paint roller. You can use one of those. Okay guys, you just gotta adapt the end of the vacuum head. I've got a piece of, just a bit of sully hose. Oh, people use it on caravans to, um, to drain their sinks out from their caravans. Bit of sully hose, I think it's about 19 mil in diameter. At the end of the sully hose, I've got a piece of 19 millimeter, this is a bit of electrical conduit. Okay, that goes into there. And that other end guys, simply plugs in to my pool, inside the pool, where it goes into the pipe. This simply plugs in, and then it creates a vacuum it sucks water through here. So you put this on the ground, it'll suck the rubbish up and then goes into the into the sand filter, guys. If you have one of these little pumps on your pool, guys, this will not work, okay? So I, I have got a, a video cleaning a round pool if you have one of these pumps. So you can refer to that. I'll leave the link on the bottom. But yeah, this method, it's no good if you've got one of these. If you've got a sand pump, this method is perfect. If you have one of them little pumps guys, you can get one of these vacuums. Simply plug in the garden hose. The turbulence causes the rubbish to go into the, there's a bag that gets tied on and you simply take the bag off and all your rubbish goes into the bag. And you can do that if you have one of them little pumps. So once we've got all that, take it out and I'll show you how it works. Okay, I'll show you under the water, guys, my fitting. This will simply plug in. Okay, you just gotta, when you put it in, I had a bit of air in the line. Okay, I've been sucking air, I like to just get rid of that air, I'll turn that off. Okay, got rid of the air. Okay, I'll turn that back on. Okay, just a sand pump, guys. Just going into the pool. I have that other end plugged in. Okay. Now, I'll put this underwater. I'll show you how she works. She works okay. She works pretty good. Okay, guys, not too bad, is it? That probably took me five minutes to vacuum it out. Yeah, it's awesome. Really good. It works just as good as a bought one. So, 
There you go. I don't know if you've got the bits laying around now. If you've got to go buy bits and pieces, you're probably better off just pulling a tool back in. But if you've got the pieces laying around, sure, make your own. Hope this video helped you. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and bye.